Yes, it's true. Bad Cinderella is closing. Hello, my name is Hope and welcome back to my channel. I like musicals, they were part of my life and today we're gonna to be talking about Bad Cinderella and it closing on Broadway. Now, with the amount of videos that I've made on Bad Cinderella, you'd think it has to be somewhat of a marketing success. And in that way, yes, yes it has been. But has it been a theatrical success? Absolutely not. And I'm sorry, nobody can convince me otherwise. Andrew Lloyd Webber's Bad Cinderella, formerly known as Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cinderella, is officially closing in June, only four months after it opening and let me tell you it feels like a lifetime is anybody surprised no i don't think anybody is but we're going to talk about why how when where what who oh i missed any i feel like there's more anyway before we get into this video remember that you can like the video if you like it comment down below what your opinions on bad cinderella are do you like it do you hate it do you really not care and are actually questioning why you're watching this video in the first place let me know remember that you can also follow me on my social media you can find me at xho wilson x on instagram hope wilson 45 on tiktok and hope wilson which wins and underscore twitter you can also find me at hope vlogs which again i don't upload on a lot but i'm trying my best and i just remember there's a video that i uploaded Loaded, but didn't actually make public that's been on there about a week so that'll go up soon <laughs> but without further ado let's get into it so I think the biggest and most unsurprising reason as to why Cinderella is closing on Broadway is the nominations at the Tony Awards. I said this in my Tony Awards video, but Bad Cinderella got a solid zero nominations, which is actually only one worse than the amount of nominations it got in the UK, which was one. The show's closure was probably pre-planned before the Tony nominations came out, but the fact it didn't get nominated for anything, I think solidified its progression to closure. Things like Dancing also got zero nominations at the Tonys, and that has all already closed on Broadway but let me tell you that had a much better reputation than this show did and let's just say I don't think there are many categories in which Cinderella was snubbed maybe a few but not many I think also the reputation that Cinderella has set it up for failure from the very beginning. From calling the West End production a costly mistake to then saying we're gonna put it on Broadway was never gonna transfer well with its audience. The huge drama and everything that Andrew Lloyd Webber got himself into to then open it on Broadway, people had no confirmation as to whether it was gonna happen again. And I think especially for from a theatre world point of view that made this opening of the Broadway production tainted and everyone had a dubious Sorry, there's little floaty bits and I don't actually know what they are on the camera. But everyone had this dubious look on what is actually going to happen with the show because of all the issues that happen in the UK. I think another reason as to why it's closing is its marketability. I think I've said this in every single video I've made about Bad Cinderella, which I think at this point is about four. And for a musical that's only been around for a few years, that is a lot of videos. The show has never been marketed at a specific audience. The show doesn't know who it's for and it can't decide if it wants to tailor to everybody, nobody or a specific demographic. I have not seen the show. I've listened to four tracks of the show and that was more than enough for me. So I cannot make a definitive claim on what is the correct way to market this show and who to market it to. But I do have a very large appreciation for the marketing teams of both the West End and Broadway production of Bad Cinderella because I think they honestly really did their best. I think the marketing was some of the best things about the show. I think you can tell they really tried and especially from the social media perspective of marketing, the people that they put in charge knew what they were doing because you can see them trying. Through the marketing, it's very obvious that they were trying and for a show so difficult to market, I really appreciated that. I felt as if the campaigns that they tried to do while while may not have, while while not may while not having <laughs> my English is not working in my brain while not having the desired outcome of what marketing should do it was entertaining and I think it at least drew attention to the show both in good and bad ways but honestly for a show to, so difficult to market any publicity is decent publicity at this point the closing of Bad Cinderella also contributes to the end of Andrew Lloyd Webber's forty three year streak on Broadway fans obviously carried it for most of its run but the fact it's ending with bad Cinderella I think is quite comical. I do just want to say one thing I found out that's also really funny is that one of the producers 
of Bad Cinderella when they found out that it was closing, handed out prayer cards, which I don't know, makes me laugh. I think that it reflects how much the production team enjoyed doing the show, just a little bit. I do just think it's a little comical addition right there. The fact Bad Cinderella's closing also means that another Broadway theatre will go dark. If you don't know what that means, that means there will be no show in that theatre. And this is happening a lot recently. I feel like we're seeing more Broadway shows close than open. It seems to be a, at the moment, shows seem to be closing, but nothing seems to really be replacing it. And I do think that's kind of concerning for the next Broadway season, but I'm hoping that it's probably gonna pick itself up again by like July, July to September, as that's when things in the new season, I would say normally start to come in. You can disagree with me, that is perfectly valid because I'm actually not sure. But I do just wanna say, me talking about the show in the way that I do is not a disservice to the cast and production team of the show. The people in the show are talented people. The people working on the show are talented people. And there's nothing in my mind that can denounce that. You don't just get cast in a Broadway show for being rubbish. Like, that's not how it works. And all these people get paid to do what they do. And so I don't think anyone could come out and say, oh, this is crap, <laughs> essentially. If a show is bad before you put people into it, the people can only make it better. But that doesn't make the show good. I think the big issue with this show is, is, is what makes it a musical. I think that the book isn't quite sure what it's doing and the music and the book don't quite go together. I know people that love this show. And if you love this show, that's great. But I think from a general perspective, on theatre there are a lot more shows out there which are more tailored to a non-theatre audience and even a theatre audience I think would struggle to like this show because of the stylized and unconventional nature of what it's trying to do. Bad Cinderella is a show that really tries to bring across a feminist narrative while being written by men. While the book writer Emerald Fennel is female, the writers of the music and the lyrics are both men and therefore the two ways that feminism is portrayed in writing and in song don't match because the two do not have the same experiences as one another and most likely the same opinions as one another on feminism. And I think that's the biggest reason as to why I think the feminist narrative of this show fails and the deep and woke side of a story that it's trying to give doesn't work and why when people look at the show and they're like why does this fail I think that's why this is a really random aside and a really random <laughs> comparison but it's why I think that the season one to seven dance moms team and the season eight dance moms team don't work while I think that the season eight dance moms team are better dancers as individuals the season one to sevens know how to dance as a group and that's what makes them different if you put these two together they don't work because they're two very different styles of teams and that's what i think about bad cinderella i know i just used dance moms to make my point but do you get what i mean overall do i think it's a bit sad that this show's closing yeah because i think it's really iconically bad and it also means that now it's closing i won't have I don't have to make any more videos on it, which is kind of sad because I like talking about how bad this show is because I enjoy it. And do I think this show is going to open elsewhere? No. No, I don't. At least not for a while. I think having its stint in England and on Broadway, it's just, it's run its course and I don't think it's going to come back for a while. Much like how I think Shut is probably not ever going to come to the UK or at least in the most recent years because I just don't think it's tailored to an English audience. The only country I can imagine bringing Bad Cinderella to stage is Australia. And don't ask me why, I just feel like the Brits and the Australians have similar theatre likes. And so maybe it would work there, I don't know. But as a whole, the show was just a whirlwind of chaos. It was a windmill of bones. It was whatever it was. And that's how we have to remember it by. But I'll be honest, I think that's all I have to say. Comment down below, what do you think about Bad Cinderella? What do you think about it closing? What are your opinions? You can like this video if you like it. You can follow me on all my social medias. You can keep enjoying musicals as much as me and I will see you in the next one.